Hey, what's up everybody? Michael Crump back here again. And today we're gonna to be setting up this view man in the middle proof of concept that has come out by Earthanon. And I want to say that this is definitely some great progress for the PlayStation 4 scene because it looks like we're gonna be able to use this PlayStation View app instead of rely on some of those old web kits that only works up to like version 9.60. So if we take a look at the repo here, there is a couple of things in the readme. There is a proof of concept for the PS4 View JS injection via man in the middle and that this does target the version 1.01. .01. Now, before we go any further, let me go ahead and state that this version uses a proxy, whereas we saw from Gagina that there has been some more progress that's happened since then where they got this running without a external proxy or a DNS. And so if you are wondering what version this is, this is the version that Zekochill posted over on X right around December the 17th. Now that was stated over here by Dr. Yinyan who said that Earthanon started the view exploit stuff and we moved to local JS. He posted the original POC which was the UWU Zeko and everyone else posted. Now heading back over to the project, in order to get started with this, the first thing you need to do is come up here to code and then download the zip file and go ahead and extract it to somewhere on your computer. The next thing that you would want to do is to just come up here and download this PKG file. Now I'll mention this again, but again, all of the links are in the description. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so over on my PlayStation 4, I have a version 12.02 system running here and I want to get set up with this PlayStation View proof of concept. So right now if we go into all of my applications you'll see that I do not have the PlayStation View app installed. So this would require me to get jailbroken and I'm just going to go ahead and get jailbroken like I normally would by using the BDJB. Okay, I'll just go ahead and press X on this. And now we have Gold Hen running. Let's go ahead and switch over to the PC in order to copy the PlayStation View application to a USB drive and download the 1.00 version. Okay, so I've just inserted a USB drive that I've been working with and I'm just going to paste that PKG file in the root, and now we're gonna connect that up to the PlayStation 4. And then on the PlayStation 4, we're gonna to go to Gold Hen Debug Settings, Package Installer, and we are going to take the option down here at the bottom, which says PlayStation View version 01.01. .01. So go ahead and press X on this. Let's go to no on that one. Yeah, so if we come over here to TV and video and you do not see it right here, sometimes you have to select yes. And I was just wondering if that was the case for this one. So let's go back into that option and go ahead and select yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes on this. Okay, so now it has been installed. So now if we come over here to TV and video, right there it is, it's got PlayStation View and then we can go to information here, and right there it is, 01.01. .01. And before we run this, let's just go ahead and let's turn on an FTP server. So we're gonna go in here to Gold Hen, we're gonna go to server settings, enable the FTP server. So right there we can see mine's listening on port 10.0.0.5 .0 .0 on 2121. So I can go ahead and load up something like FileZilla, Put in the host here, leave the username and password at blank, and then hit quick connect. Now stay here because we're going to have to upload something to this in just a second. Back over on the PlayStation 4 here, let's go ahead and go back down into TV and video and run the PlayStation View application. Okay, it says this service requires you to sign into PSN. So leave that screen exactly as it is and let's switch back to the PC. Now we need to take this file, which we downloaded earlier, 
and we need to put it inside of this folder right here. So now you should navigate to Mount Sandbox and then the CUSA 00960 underscore 000 slash download zero. And right here is where we downloaded the proof of concept. If we go into download zero, you'll see there is a local storage.aes. Just take that and just copy that into that download zero folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and just close out of that application here. Okay, so wherever you downloaded and extracted the proof of concept files at, I'm just gonna come just straight up here and we're gonna type in CMD and then press enter. So here is my window and you can see I've went ahead and typed pip install MITM proxy and we're going to press return here. Now mine has already been downloaded, but for you, it may need to download. And again, I do want to keep in mind that you will need to have Python installed in order to run that. And then once you have that installed, we're just going to simply run MITM proxy dash S space proxy.py. Now again, this is in the same folder right here. So we can see proxy.py and there is proxy.py and just press enter on that and your screen should look just like this. Okay, so back over on the PlayStation 4 here, we are not ready to go just yet. We need to go to settings here and we need to go to network and we need to go to set up an internet connection. And right now it is using a LAN cable, but we need to change the proxy here. So let's go to custom and we'll go automatic for that one. And then do not specify for DNS. Those will also be automatic. MTU is automatic. And then for a proxy server, we're going to go use. And here is where you can run an IP config. And then right there, the IPv4 address 10.0.0.59 is what I'd need to plug in there. Okay, so I've went ahead and added that and then the port number is at 8080. Let's go ahead and hit next there and we're gonna hit back, back, back and let's go ahead and go down to TV and video again. And this time we're gonna go to the PlayStation view. And right there it is. It says, yeah, boy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. And let me just go ahead and switch over to my desktop here. You can see that that command that we ran right here performed that man in the middle attack. That is just so very cool. So we'll just go ahead and hit X on this. And again, it's not chained to anything, so we would not be able to see something like an exploit running. So again, remember this is just the user land and so we won't be able to see something like Gold Hen running, but it's really cool to see nonetheless. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!